Well, that's right. Over 400 pages of different text messages and emails were released this evening, and many speaking about the funds that were used to rebuild the Southern Miss Volleyball Stadium. I've been as open and honest as I can be. Former Mississippi Governor Phil Bryant released hundreds of text messages and emails with the goal to maintain his innocence in the misspent temporary assistance for needy families funds investigation. Well, I've made the decision to forego any arguments about executive privilege of my text messages in this matter and simply release them all. Many of the texts were between NFL Hall of Famer Brett Favre talking about millions of dollars in funding for the University of Southern Mississippi Volleyball Stadium. In a text thread, the former athlete says time is working against them to build the facility. Bryant responds saying, we have to follow the law. I am too old for federal prison. Alongside this, there's also an alleged text message thread between Bryant and former Southern Miss President Rodney Bennett. In those messages, Bennett wrote that he asked Favre to not do the things he was doing and failing to follow the IHL process. Bryant says he alerted the state auditor's office of his suspicions of misspent funds who began investigating. We dig up all of the evidence and hand it over to those individuals. So I'm not going to put myself in the shoes of the prosecutor and say, yeah, that person ought to be indicted and this per person shouldn't be indicted. That's really their role and, and we provide the facts so that they can make that decision. Favre's daughter was a member of the volleyball team at that time and over $5 million of TANA funds were used to build the new stadium. Professor of Law Matthew Steffi says the investigation was would have to prove Bryant was directly involved in the scheme. It would have to show that that he that the former governor engaged in conduct that he knew violated the law, or that it was at least extremely reckless, was aware of a high risk that he was violating the law and did it anyway. Something the former governor denies. I did nothing wrong. I wasn't aware of the wrongdoings of others. When I received evidence that suggested people appeared to be misappropriating funds, I immediately reported that to the agency whose job it is to investigate these matters. Bryant maintains he was the whistleblower who reported the corruption, saying he released the tax messages requested by defendants in the civil lawsuit by the State Department of Human Services. Bryant says that one text is missing, but he did not delete it, and he actually reached out to Apple to see if it could be recovered, but they were not able to do that. Reporting live outside the state capitol, Grayson Gordon, 16 WEP.